So you can see our invoice is really created uh, with hyphen one and hyphen two. Both are accounted. So these two I accounted by submitting the create accounting process. And then I tried one more invoice, uh, create one more invoice, and this I did uh, accounting from online. That is from invoice interface, I created the accounting. Okay. So we'll also show you. So what the things I did is first actually uh, it is working once we uh, submit with create accounting process and the second thing what I did is I just loaded the conversion rates for uh, INR to give uh, this, uh, this conversion rate was not exist because of that even we have seen that there are two journals uh, with error status in GA. Yes, Martin. Okay, so these are the two conversion rates for not there. So I just loaded the, those conversion rates even, and then it started working. Okay. So you can see this is our uh, GL. Okay, and here actually we were having uh, two errors, right? But now all the errors has been uh, released because we have scheduled auto post program, right? Once we loaded the conversion dates, all the journals, uh, there are three journals actually with error status because of uh, no conversion dates exist. Once I loaded that, even those journals has been uh, cleaned and invoice is also getting accounting now. So I will quickly show you one of the invoice. I will creating, I'm uh, creating one more invoice now. I will show you the accounting part. So you can see here under the recent info tell now currently we are having three invoices and click on create option to create a new invoice even here okay we will select the business unit I'm as an engineer since i you Like the supplier, I'm giving voice group with today's date zero four twenty six. F one one. thousand and invoice date term state has been defaulted amount uh, line level amount I'm giving ten thousand again here and vision combination Today we will see uh, one new feature uh, in Fusion uh, what we have in the invoice level. So accounting, I'm selecting once again uh, advertising accounting itself. Uh, we'll just see any other accounting we have it. 22 expense. So I'm going with internet expense. And spare value, I'm taking all spares and then click on OK. I the description testing and accounting. Yes. Now you can save this invoice. Let's validate. Okay. 
it got validated now go for post ledger Hope oh, again what happened today itself it worked last night. Mm. Let me just see. This is it. Mm. Mm, it is dead. Oof. Invoice validated only liability account is showing. This is Really, last night itself it worked. I don't know why it is giving now only no liability account itself. It's not giving item expense account. Hmm. What is happening with this? Really? Ooh. Why it is behaving like this? So not one six, not seven. Okay, it is Indian currency, but why item expense account got missed here? Really, hmm. it is being really crazy. Sure. This is what we will give information actually, and why it is not creating, not understanding. One minute, let me just do once again. If not, I will submit the creator coding process. I mean, this should work but i don't know why it is not working okay so i'm just saving and closing let's send the creator coding process Instead, this third invoice actually i created uh, with online accounting itself from the invoice screen it worked for me but today again it's not working sorry mm -hmm. go for create accounting Okay, subledger application payables and ledger US primary ledger. Want to process for all category of payables and report style detail, transfer to gender ledger and post in gender ledger also, yes. Taken the process ID. No problem. Let's navigate to schedule process and we'll see. Create accounting. Wait status now it is. Let's Was the uh, study create accounting process uh, ID, which is even succeeded, succeeded and uh, accounting got generated. Let's see why it is behaving like this from online accounting. I'm not understanding. And even that is not giving any error message. Even so, you can see those general entries. This means it imported. Import general, even it is a uh, child program, even it is running. Mm. And also, whatever the auto post schedule program is there, is that I kept on hold, I placed it on hold.
maintain variable style balance report and this is my create accounting program still which is running import journals child program even it is completed we succeeded means journals are imported from our sub ledger but not understand the behavior of this why we are facing the problem in online accounting total lines 4 and 2 General entry is the uh, source you can see it is payables. Uh, one batch, four lines, only four lines. Okay, so just give a minute. A conversion rate which you loaded for 41 to 430 between INR to JVP, and this one also 41 to 430. So there is one general missing. Warning batch payables name. This is the payables uh, journal batch name. Unbalanced journal entries. Okay, there are no errors even it is showing. Hmm. There is no error course and this is status success. <laughs> so let's navigate again application. Let's first go to payables. See, it is accounted. Oh, really, this instance is behaving. Oh, this is 0426 2020 iPhone 1 is a one, which is accounted. So, first, let's see this uh, from invoice level. You can see if you click on this validated, it is accounted status now. And click on this accounted, which is a hyperlink. It will show you the accounting accounting information. For your primary ledger, it is item expense debit and liability is credit, right? And USD to so here actually we have multiple reporting ledgers and one secondary ledger, right? So along with USD to CAD, we have one more uh, reporting ledger, USD to Euro even. I think USD to Euro we created with the balance uh, currency conversion level is balance and USD to GBP even we have created one more reporting currency. Then why that USD to reporting uh, USD to GBP is not appearing here? It's a question to you all. Why I'm not seeing USD to GBP currency conversion rate level reporting currency? It will appear only if you take sub ledger no, no? Yes. Okay. Only the sub uh, reporting or the secondary which is created with the sub ledger currency uh, conversion levels will be appear here. So this is your USD to CAD sub ledger uh, reporting currency. You can see the entered currency is USD 10,000, 10,000 item expense to liability. And this is your accounted currency in that respect to our reporting currency in the CAD currency. This is. Then the third one, now I think you can get the accounting entry even for your secondary ledger, INR to SL. That is uh, 10,000 USD currency and accounting currency, which is INR 7016072.24. Okay. So it is created fine, but I don't know why it is not created when I did on online accounting this one. So from here itself, you can take the journal batch event, journal batch name of this invoice, and we will go and uh, search this invoice from the GL, and we will see in GL this invoice has been created or not. Okay, so this is journal batch name, and this is the journal entry name. Fine, copy, click on done, cancel. Naveen, Proxima payment terms uh, they are Naveen, in fusion here. What? Proxima payment terms. What payment terms? Proxima payment terms. Payment terms, there are two types you now. One is normal one which you created yesterday. And another one, uh, some cutoff day will be there. You no, know, like uh, create... uh, cutoff day also it is there here. Uh, but actually, I don't have much uh, knowledge on the cutoff day uh, 
that it will be your bill bills and phone bills hmm yeah it is there in the payment terms creation ui it has there in the cut off day of field event you can create with cut off day so this is the batch it's not showing so we'll search with today's date so that it will be easy for us uh, to know on today's date it has been go so with batch status creation date I will say creation date after twenty fifth. You can see ten thousand, which is your primary ledger. Uh, this is then was actually we even searched with this is a general batch, but it didn't search properly. I think uh, some space issue might be when we tried. So this is your primary ledger journal. And this is your, let's see, there is no, okay, we have even the ledger field here. This is USD to INR SL and this is your USD to CAD. So you can see this is your uh, USD to INR SL, 701647.24 INR currency and this is your entered currency that is USD, $10,000. So you can see, all the journals which are created from sub uh, we know that the description of the line level, you can see it is journal imported. And also you can see here the source is payables and category of the payables invoices is always is purchase invoice. And this is a general batch name and you can see description general import payables at the line level even. And this is the currency which we use to create this invoice. Okay. So I think sometimes you're facing some problem in uh, online accounting at the invoice level, uh, but create accounting, it is working fine. So now let's go and see other invoices, uh, sorry, other, other ledger journals. Oh, Navin? Yes. Uh, can you show how to drill down to from GL to payables from here? GL to payables. From inquiry details, you can drill down, and from here, even if you want to drill down, let's see. Mm, no, we can just see only which particular uh, payables. Only the general entry it is showing view transaction. You have to payables drill down. No, I think we can just see the transaction payables invoice. Okay, this is the invoice which we created. Invoice date, and where is my invoice number? This is my invoice number. You can just view the uh, transaction of the payables invoice. Okay. So you mean to say in uh, in cloud uh, we cannot drill down from GL to subledgers? GL to subledgers, yes. Uh, maybe from account inquiry, inquiry account details you may, uh, but from the general screen, no. Yeah, in UBS, uh, we can drill down from the journals to the respective transactions. Uh, okay, I never tried that option. But I think, see, if, you, if I click on the amount, it's just giving me the view transaction, of, uh, the transaction information it is giving for the invoice details. But drill down. Yes, it is not showing. Okay. Okay. Fine. So it even it should uh, give me the option to select other ledgers even. I don't know why it is not selecting really uh, the instance why it is behaving, I'm not, not sure. So I'm showing now for uh, other ledger.
Hmm. So this is your visit to NRS sir. Uh, this for we just seen right. Okay. I am thinking there is some limitations in some browser or why it is behaving like this switch. Okay, we are into India Close Monitor uh, Data Access Set. So this is our today's uh, journal which we just seen. So let's change to US and UK Close Monitor. Click on OK. Search for today's date. Creation date of the 24th. Mm -hmm. 25th. And this is April 20. There are many. So from this, if you want to search today's Okay, that is the reason actually uh, earlier when we searched the general batch name, it didn't give that batch. So, let's see here if it can work. Okay. So, this is the uh, journal related to today's invoice which we created. USD to GBP, USD to CAD and USD, uh, US primary ledger actually anything and we'll see okay. payables purchase invoices general import created so this is for your uh, USD to GBP another reporting currency which is created with the journal level and this one I think a primary ledger journal no this is again usd to cad sub ledger uh, with rcl with sub ledger and this is let's see us primary ledger journal with usd currency okay yeah any other questions so here it is like as told you can export your lines if you want to see the number of lines if it is have more than thousands of lines you can export and you can review it this is the one option we have yeah so Vamshi, Yamna ma'am and others Karthik, Balu, Rajneesh, Martin yeah I've completed the payable set up Yes. I say have we completed table setup? Okay, you completed? No, I'm asking. When it will be completed? No, I'm, I'm, completed? I'm asking if we have if we have completed a payable setup. We didn't complete the payable setup. We did the payable setups only which are required to create the invoices. Okay. So to process the invoice, what are the minimum setups required? Those we have done, and the remaining setups we required uh, to process the payments. Those are still left. While we, uh, to when we start make the payment for these invoices, I will do the payment setups. Okay. Okay, but you've not talked about like distribution sets, defining. We'll agencies. do that. Okay, we'll just do that. I uh, just did the mandatory co uh, the core configurations I defined uh to process the invoices okay so we are giving now manually the distribution uh, combination but we can even create the distribution set i will tell you uh but i'm just asking what are this process we created now the invoice which is uh created and accounted in that do you have any questions no i don't have any questions thank you so we have 10 more minutes so what we'll do is in this 10 minutes uh we'll try to see the new feature what we have in the uh, fusion and uh, we'll try to understand how you can do this. 
So if you see here, actually for each of these invoice, uh, or even if you take today's invoice, if we created, uh, the liability account, it has been picked from the supplier site level, right? And the supplier site level, uh, this is the liability account which is picked from the accounting tab, if you can see. So this is the liability account which is picked 21011, right? But this is actually some other, uh, it's not the correct liability account. Let's assume that this is not the correct liability account 21011. Instead of that, the end user should assign a liability account with 21010 itself. But she or uh, he might have created, uh, use this wrong account of liability. Now, uh, this is identified by someone from the disbursement team and then they told, use the same liability account, what we given in the common options for payables and procurement setup itself. Okay, so now, if this correction you want to do in EBS, uh, what is the step we used to do? To correct this invoice, I mean to nullify this balance, Yes, we, we need to cancel the invoice now. Huh? We need to cancel the invoice and rebook the transaction. Okay, so it is validated and accounted. So you will cancel this and again you will perform the accounting. So the reversal entries will transfer to your GL. And it yes. Will, or else you will create a credit memo to nullify this uh, invoice balances, right? Yeah. So those two options we have in the EBS. But coming to here, in the fusion application, the new feature, what we are having is just going to your accounting section. And here I have the overhead account feature. So this overhead account feature, how it's going to help you is any account uh, which you think it's a, uh, you wrongly entered, the end user is wrongly selected uh, in the accounting entry. Then you can, instead of creating or canceling this invoice, here itself you can overrate that account and that new account will be transferred to the GL. And again, this uh, 21011, it will create a debit line and that even it will be transferred to GL. And for this account, it will this amount will become uh, zero. And with a new and correct liability account, it will transfer to your GL. Okay, so let's see how exactly it will work. Click on this override account. So I'm trying to override Okay, it is selected, I think, the first row. Yes. Hmm. So this is the liability account, which is given at the supplier side level wrongly by the consultant or the end user who has entered this one. So now we are correcting this with 21010, which is my correct liability account. And then click on OK. reason here so I'm just giving correcting the liability account and, and click on submit so for the uh, already the line which is transferred to GL with incorrect liability account which is the credit side for that it will create a debit line and this 10,000 for this 21010 account will be balance will become zero and it will create a new account at the credit side with a 21010 account. And this even will automatically transfer to your GL. Okay. So this is the new feature we have in Fusion application. So you can see uh, this was your old account. No, this was your uh, old account at the credit side. You can see uh, this is the the reason we have the given and this has been reversed so i will just scroll towards uh left which so sorry this was the original account uh with 21011 10000 which is at the credit side for this it has been created a debit line okay so that this debit and credit it will become zero and this is the new account which is again created at the credit side with the correct liability account now your actual accounting entry is going to be item expense and this is your liability account. And this debit and this credit is going to become zero. Fine. Any questions here?
you can see the new line and the correction line this is with this uh, symbol green tick mark so here you no need to cancel or you need to create another credit memo so whatever the account it is uh, you are thinking you need to do the correction the accounting values you can just override and you can do it so even so here we did this but uh, what about your gl entry means in gl also it will be nullified it will be transferred this entry this correction line it will be uh, it will go with the correct account now the balance will be fine so click on done and here you can see if i click on again validate option it is accounted it means when i do the correction that time itself even it will get accounting okay so now i will show you only the primary ledger balance uh, with the correction amount and you can understand so i'm taking the same journal batch to go and see so here you done the correction in the ap right but in gl how it is going to reflect is go to home icon and the accounting journals there are two other errors entered here for which is testing nine level currency journal okay when that is we'll leave it so go to manager next oh. and see now uh, let's go for directly us primary ledger this is how your accounting treatment will be in gl hmm? okay. still okay why it is still showing on this thing might be the process it is still running let me just see so it will show you with the correct account again in gl just give me a minute might be the performance issue mm -hmm. let me open another browser even but you understand that uh, overhead accounting feature right Rajneesh, Arthi, can Martin? Yes. Yeah. So this is a very good feature actually. So that you know, you need to again cancel and create a new invoice, or you cannot, or uh, need to create even the credit memo. Only for the balance. Again, that need to be accounted. Instead of that, you can just, and again by using this, you can just do the. You can override only the accounting segment. <coughs> Amshi, I hope it's clear for you even, right? Yes, Nami. Yes. Okay. So let's see why it is not still reflecting on the GL, but it will reflect. I think it's taking time. That's it. Okay, I think it's might taking some time, but uh, after at the end of the session, I will show you once again. Uh, it will add a new line, and we can see that. Fine. So this is how you can just use your uh, overhead account feature even. So let's see some of the other transactions. Uh, now it is become eight. 
you see it's krishna has joined if you join then we will start pivo okay so to all uh, krishna has joined so we can start uh, look for the pivo related setups and we will see we'll create a pivo and we'll see the pivo match invoice fine okay hi krishna hi navin navin uh, i'm going to take one to one and a half hour session so since you're already taking from seven o'clock uh, we'll break and we'll, we'll give 10 minutes break to them uh now itself yeah we'll start again at 10 8 10 is it fine kartik and others are you want break so and i continue uh you can continue continue, continue, continue. yeah Let's continue. We already started twenty minutes late, so we yeah. just started forty uh -huh. minutes. Late. Okay, okay, then that is fine. yeah. Okay, I'll start. Okay, give me two minutes. Sorry. Wait. Sure. Yeah. Navin, uh, in the previous journal, why the accounting date is showing as thirtieth of April? Yeah. Even the exchange rate is taking as thirtieth April, but we book the transaction with today's date, correct? Hmm. Uh. Then why uh, the accounting date is showing as the last day of the month? Actually, we submitted the accounting. Uh, we use create accounting process, and also it is like the current open period. I think we have open till June period. That is the reason uh, it is showing maybe with the thirtieth. I didn't observe that one. Good catch actually, but no, I... even the exchange rate is showing as thirtieth day, thirtieth April. That should not be uh -huh. the case, right? Uh, I'm thinking it is because of we have open multiple periods, right? In GL and the current open period is in June 20. That is the reason I'm thinking uh, it is created with 30th April. So, actually it should be with uh, current, uh, current date itself. But as we have opened till June 20 period, and that could be the reason it is giving that. But based on invoice date, it will create no novel. Yes, but actually this we submitted with a create accounting process with 4.30. Okay, uh, I mean, the month and date we have se uh, selected. And that could also one of the reason. If you do online accounting, like from the invoice user interface, uh, even we can see that by that time. Mm, okay, so I created one more invoice, uh, which accounting I did uh, from the invoice screen. Let's see that. So maybe maybe that is the reason I think while running create accounting uh, create accounting process we submitted with uh, 30 dates. So I think that is the reason it might take in that one. Or we might have opened the periods up to June, right? So that is also another reason. Not sure exactly like how it is picking this date. But there is one invoice. I have done accounting from the invoice screen that I will just query and see. I will take the general batch for that invoice and you can see that. Okay, so this is that invoice which I just created accounting from invoice user interface. Let me take a general batch here. And accounting date it is showing, you can see it is uh, 25th of April itself. So let's capture this. Real transfer date event is saying 425. So this accounting I uh, did from invoice user interface, not from the create accounting. So let's see what the data is picking here.
event is taking for 30 is accounting date then might be the periods which you open till okay so when you're practicing just please uh, observe what's accounting date you're getting and please let me know even i'm thinking now that is the only one reason because this invoice accounting i did from invoice user interface screen and still for this even it is taking that 430 okay yeah so let's wait if krishna is ready then we can start with it. and meanwhile let's clear this So after loading the conversion it has uh, placed it on hold auto post job so let's post it I think it should work this time oh see it's selected for posting let me also post this even I'm ready when you're done with me. Yeah, Krishna. Fine. Okay. I'm in my company. Do you have a couple of these? Yes, I'm in my company. Okay. Chapati. I'm in my company. What have I waited for? You can see posting is in process. This address has been fixed. One general has been removed. Yeah, Krishna. Uh, you can take it. Yes, sir. I'm in my company. Yes. Hmm. So it's also removed. It is in this process. So I have done from my end. Yeah, but me call on. But me move to go on. General. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Okay, we still have something. Okay, go. Let's see. One has gone and still. On no, the these are not our signal. I mean, let's ignore uh, the source is AMG source. Probably somebody ours only. This is AMG source we created with the FBDA template. Okay. okay, two are there. One was posted. I think another one might be submitting the process or something. So, Krishna. Yep. Yes. Uh, from my side so it's like we just created only organization and the inventory organization those are the two setups i just did and apart from that uh there are no other setups we have done okay i'll verify yeah thank you 